Hey Leo, welcome to your WLC Weekly Love Connections reading. This will be for those of you who are wanting to get insights with regards to your love connections. To all my subscribers, thank you for stopping by once again. Info about my personal readings and everything else about this channel will be in the description box below. Alright, so Leo, let's get started. What do we have for Leo in love? What do we have for Leo in love? This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and Jupiter in love. You have the world, the seven of swords, the star, the five of wands, the devil, and the um, four of swords, the three of coins the three of swords and the king of swords wow at the bottom of the deck we have the page of cups yeah underneath that we have the eight of wands okay first message i'm getting leo this could be someone that um yeah definitely someone from the past someone that you have dealt with in the past could be an ex that you still have in your mind. Could be dealing with an air sign too. Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius right here. But but doesn't have to be. Mm -hmm. But I feel, Leo, that... Um, You may have stopped communicating with this person. Mm -hmm. You may have gone your own way, not really um, keeping them um, informed about your whereabouts. You're not um, exactly opening up to this person, and it feels like um, you're holding back a lot from this person right now. You're holding back a lot. But that doesn't mean that you don't like this person anymore or you don't like to be in this connection. I still feel that there is this connection here. That's why it's uh, coming out into your reading. But I do see that um, there is an element here of you possibly spending time thinking about this person without even talking to them. Yeah, You're stuck in this situation right now. You don't exactly know uh, what to do here. Yeah, you can't let them go, but at the same time, um, you couldn't also make any steps towards them for some reason. Mm -hmm. For some of you, Leo, for some of you, I do see that um, you may not be showing efforts into this connection, uh, but instead... Instead of facing the problem right now, you may be um, connecting with some other people. Some people from your past, aside from this person that you're thinking about. Yeah, You may start to invest um, some time there. Yeah, um, Possibly your rebound or possibly just um, taking your mind off of this connection because it feels like you don't know exactly what is going on here or what else can you do to at least resolve this or to get this into a, another start with this person, yeah? But you feel that you are still very much connected to this one. Mm -hmm. But perhaps for some of you, for some of you, you may be connecting with someone from your past aside from this one that we are reading right now okay yeah so there's that you know ghosting no communication um repressed emotions i feel on your side and although at the end of the day you still can't um 
have that peaceful um, mindset with regards to this connection. You don't know how best to stay in it happily, but at the same time, it's hard to let this go. Mm -hmm. It's hard to let this go. You're both wanting to restore or at least give this a new start, but there's no communication or there's some form of, um, you know, repressing your feelings here, not showing what you truly feel, not showing what you truly feel. And I know, Leo, you still want this. You're still thinking about this love that you shared with this person, yeah? Also, your person is not really showing you some form of effort as well in this connection. They don't show you that they are, um, let's say, initiating in conversation, although they really want to. They don't show you that. Um, but one thing for sure is they want to have this new beginning with you, to restore it. Yeah, or to build with you, to work things out with you. But for some reason, they are not doing any moves as well. It could be that um, they are still feeling that pain from how things have ended between the two of you, or if there was some form of betrayal here in the past. This is someone who may have felt betrayed still, and they are processing that pain that they're feeling. All right, I feel that while on your side or somebody here in this connection is actually not um, really focusing on fixing this right now, but rather spending time somewhere else just to po possibly just give this um, connection a rest for now. Yeah. But you both are still wanting this. You both know that um, in this connection, if you can just work things out, you both know, you know, that this can still be renewed. It's just this lack of action that is causing this to be stagnant for now. A lack of action for both sides. And you're sh showing some, you know, that cold front towards one another. You could even be ghosting one another right now. Tell us more about this connection for Leo. <laughs> All right. So while you are not talking to one another, I feel that you're you're both like kind of um, dreaming, like wishful thinking for both of you here. Yeah. About you know the time that you were together, the time that you were texting one another how you started getting to know one another, how fun it was back then. Um, you're both kind of thinking about, um, you know, the challenges that you both uh, faced when you were together, how strong that partnership was, yeah? How you got through that in the past. You're just thinking about it, you know? Just dreaming about those good times shared. But as of the moment, no action that is being done here. No action. It could also be that someone here, and I feel it's likely on you, Leo. Someone here is playing some mind games or, you know, detaching just for the sake of it for now. To see if this person would come forward, you know. You're playing the role of um, be of being chased here, rather than chasing the um, the person that you're dealing with. If not that, this is just you, um, you know, just giving this a rest for now, and then just thinking about how I wish this could have happened, how I wish this could I could have done this better in the past. Uh, what have you what is that the should have could have would have kind of energy because as of the moment you're really um you don't know what to do for now yeah you don't know what to do for now so you're giving this a rest 
but and your person is is pretty much just not showing that they also want this you're both in your individual caves here yeah so let's get you an advice but there is still renewal here i feel because this seems to be like a spiritual connection for both parties i feel you're both learning from one another you inspire one another and it's that that kind of experience is very hard to let go embracing enthusiasm shout to the heavens with happiness this advice for you leo is is um very telling that um whatever this is right now um i feel that just let it pass and don't attach any negative vibes into it because even if there's no movement at least towards one another for now there there is that um, potential that things can improve things can be transformed from the stagnancy to a new beginning here there is this revival for this connection you've got the star yeah, you've got the star here but as of the moment as of the moment I feel you just have to possibly give this a rest if you cannot think of the best possible way to reach out to them instead of engaging in a in an argument just to get their attention or, or something like that um, better give this a rest until such time you get some clarity where you can face this connection and face this person with some form of enthusiasm rather than argument or fight yeah because your person is wanting this they're just not telling you right now but they're wanting this yeah they may even feel as though you are not interested in them anymore and therefore they're not really talking to you much about it as well you're the only person who truly gets me yeah your person wants this Le uh, Leo you want this they want you you feel like home to me mm -hmm. so with those messages as you can see your person is still pretty much connected with you although they may not express it verbally um, I hope this reading gives you insights and um, could give you more you know openings as to what's the best way to get through that um, hurdle that you're facing right now to be unstuck from the situation yeah okay so shout to the heavens with happiness this is like positive vibes only yeah embrace only happiness positive vibes towards you so that you can come into a space of being happy in the first place and then you reach out to them that sort of um, how it goes here and you can there is this potential to renew this still yeah you still both want to um you still both want this mm -hmm. you want a new beginning here with one another okay i'm gonna leave it at that um let me know how this resonates in the column uh, in the comment section below also um, give me a thumbs up if you like this and um, share and subscribe um, click on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever i go live as well as post new videos i go live every mondays reading love connections reading for all signs at 7 30 p.m eastern time so if you're available join me live um, that is for the Gypsy Monday Night's Tarot, okay? That's for all signs. Um, otherwise, if this doesn't resonate, you can check out the other readings um, that I've released today for the other signs. Other signs in your chart, that could also be insightful for your uh, situation, okay? Otherwise, if this is where we part ways, thank you for stopping by.